Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Cherica Brown again, and we're on episode 11 of Cherica Be Talking, cause I be talking. Now today's question is, should you treat the talking stage serious, like not talk to anybody else? This particular question was pulled from my Instagram, where I just put up a poll for my viewers on my story to ask me any question that they would like for me to answer on my chair could be talking series. So if you're not already, go and follow me on Instagram at Cherica underscore Brown. Also make sure you view the playlist. I created a playlist where all of my chair could be talking videos because I am gonna branch out and start giving y'all some more content. So stay tuned for that as well. Now, this question is funny to me because I remember like a few years back reading a post on social media and it was something like, a dude at texting a girl and basically he was texting her and he was asking her like are you single and her response was yeah but i'm talking to somebody and he was like oh for real what y'all be talking about it was a valid question when you think about it because what are you talking about can y'all talk to anybody else single but talking to someone to me sounds a lot like a silent lunch or detention and school suspension or something you know like where the person in charge is in control of everything that you do, your your actions, and they decide when you can gain privileges back, when you can interact with other people, how you can interact with other people, almost like a prisoner. So when he asks, okay, y'all talking, what y'all talking about? Most people be like, what? Like, why he in their relationship or why he in their business? But when you think about it, she said, yeah, she's single. So that means, okay, are y'all moving forward? He's asking like, what's going on in the situation? Shoot, can I date you? Because you just told me you single. So are y'all talking like y'all about to move forward? Or he talking about a whole bunch of nothing with you and you can come and talk about something real with me. <laughs> so I think that was pretty funny just because it's valid. I'm gonna assume that talking is referring to dating around just because emphasis was placed on not talking to anybody else. So it sounds like you're confused when you're talking to someone if you should be dedicating all your time, all your energy strictly to this one person, which is really a good question because I think a lot of people fight with that and a lot of people mess up in the beginning because they don't know where they are and where they stand with the person that they're talking to. Now, I always said that you're single until you're not single. This goes for men and women, but I like to emphasize it for women because ultimately the man is the one who decides or asks if a woman wants to be in a relationship with him. So typically he's the one who pops the question when it's asking, would you want to be, would you like to be my girlfriend? And also, would you like to marry me? So um, there's a possibility that he doesn't feel like the woman is his girlfriend or wife if he doesn't necessarily ask this question because maybe he didn't pop the question because he feel like she gonna stick around anyway so I don't even have to ask her to be with me officially because I know that hey as long as I keep playing the game and talking to her and entertaining her she's not going to give any other man her energy because she's getting all that energy from me. Now, a lot of women tend to exclusively date one person when we really start to like a man. So that's when a woman starts to get emotional and she really starts to just dedicate all her time, all her energy to this man. And she will treat a man that she's talking to as if he's already her boyfriend without that title being there. And there's where a lot of women go wrong, I would say. Um, I like that. This particular question was asked by a man surprisingly. So I do like that he even asked this question because you don't think that men think these type of things, they're just out here. But this man wants to know like, can I talk to other people when I'm talking to just this one girl that I probably like? So I think this is a valid question and I like that it came from a man. So I'm trying to answer it so I can tell you a little about women while answering your question at the same time for both men and women. Um, just to be clear, talking doesn't mean sleeping around when I'm suggesting that people talk to a few people just to see who they like. It means going on public dates, 
talking on the phone and getting to know people better. How many people can juggle at one time may vary from person to person. I might be the person that be like, hey, I can talk to one person at a time. And if I feel like I'm not feeling him, I can cut him off and I can enjoy me time for a while until I run into somebody else that I really like. Where you may have someone else that's like, hey, I typically talk to three, four people at a time and I just X them out as I go. Like I decide when I don't want to talk to them anymore or when we're not talking about anything or moving forward or progressing they just die off slowly but surely it's important to me not to be intimate while talking because it brings confusion and emotions into a situation that isn't defined all the way just yet you need to be doing literally what the word says talking this is like the beginning stage when you're getting to know who this person is and deciding if you connect with them mentally and sharing who you are. You don't want to be a representative. You want to bring forward exactly who you are so that they can see all of you, but not give all of you, you know? So be open and let your guard down a little and then just talk to this person, show them who you are, kind of fill out who they are and just talk, connect mentally and then see if you all can move forward. You should never waste, I would say, an entire year or even six months of being uncertain with where you stand with someone. Of course, social media changes the game um, just a little and makes it complicated. Now, we probably all feel victim to really liking someone who we're dating or talking to, then checking their social media profiles to see who they're following, what they liking, and just how they're interacting with people, what type of people they're interacting with, whether it's like demographic, race, age group. You want to know those things about somebody who you start to like. And if you see something and you realize like, hey, I'm an outlier from what this person is following, what they're liking, what they're doing, it may raise some red flags or it could just be that this person is still playing around and they're not really ready to settle down. But social media kind of gives you that open room to evaluate person other than what they're just saying. You get to kind of see what they're doing and how they're interacting with other people as well. I wouldn't say that social media is completely bad. It can be bad because it can be time consuming and you're being a part-time investigator and you're not being paid for it. So you have to be careful because you can see things that tells you certain things and it make you go deeper. And next thing you know, you're spending too much time and too many hours into something that is not going to be anything. So make sure you don't fall into that trap. Now, just remember, even though you're seeing things on social media, it may bring about different type of emotions and feelings when you're seeing these things and you want to address these things because communication is key. You don't have to cut every single person off because of the small stuff you catch. And trust me, I'm talking to myself too when I say that because I have no problem with cutting somebody off if I see something that I just don't like or that just completely disgusts me. Like, why would you do that? Why would you talk to that type of person? Why would you like that type of picture? Why would you, you know, because I mean, you know how we are when we get on social media, you feeling somebody and you see something and you like, uh-uh, let me check that. Just let a person know what you don't like. When you catch something you don't like, be like, hey, I saw you doing this and that that and this and I don't really like that. If they continue to do whatever you express that you don't like, then you can proceed to cut them off. You have every right to cut them off. Personally, some things are common sense to me. Like, why would you be liking pics of other women on Twitter when we follow each other and you know it will pop up on my timeline. You know for a fact that I'm gonna see it on my timeline. And if we're talking and you know that we're both kind of feeling each other, I may just go to your page and do a checkup, click your likes and see what you like it. And I'm gonna see it. So if they do that, it could kind of come off as blatant disrespect because you know I'm seeing something, but you choosing to do it anyway. I'm gonna assume that you being thirsty or you trying me. Honestly, I'm going to assume both that you being thirsty and you're trying me not or. This isn't something that I would just bring up in the first date or even after 
after a first date, this is something I'm saying when you're like 10 dates in. So you're not just checking people. You're not on the first date like, and I checked your social media before we got here. Who is this? You, you ain't, you're not in that, that, that's not your role in that person's life yet to be checking them and trying to ask them questions on the first date when neither one of y'all know if y'all really all the way interested yet. So make sure you're not that person that's overplaying your role while you're doing this as well. So let talking be talking, okay? Talking is not a committed marriage. Make sure you know that. Make sure you understand that. Make sure you're still respecting the other person and make sure you keep in mind that you're not official with this person until you're official with this person. I say it's okay to check these things if they bother you, if and only if they bother you. It may vary from relationship to relationship. Some girls may be like, hey, that's what social media is for. I don't care if my man is liking some other girl's naked swimwear pictures or just body pictures or just pictures in general trying to get other women attention say something when you're um, feeling like you're moving forward with this person because only one type of man is typically liking every picture he run across on instagram or twitter and that's a man that's also in dms with hard eyes because you got to remember men are pursuers they're the one that's going to get the woman the woman can throw herself on a man it happens all the time it happens every single day a man is tempted but for the most part, it takes the man to initiate most relationships, not speaking for all. And you don't want your man liking a picture because it may seem to a woman as if, hey, he's trying to talk to me. Now, not saying like, oh, do not like every single thing that you see online, but like there's appropriate pictures that you can like and there's inappropriate pictures that you can like and if he's liking something that's considered inappropriate whatever that may be to you or if she's liking something that may be inappropriate whatever that is to you say something and just speak up don't hold that in because that's not healthy you gotta check what you have issues with early in dating because if you allow it to go on while you're talking getting serious if it goes somewhere and they're doing the same thing they're gonna be like well i always done this and you ain't never said that before or you don't want when y'all do move forward into the relationship you don't want it to be a drastic change that you're asking this person for and they're like well that's the type of person i am you didn't see that when we were just talking so just address things early on in dating. Only when it's getting serious, only when it's going somewhere. You know when something feels like it isn't going somewhere. So don't be out here checking people that don't belong to you or won't belong to you. Now, I always say that single people do single stuff, which is talk, date around, and see what's out here. And ultimately, it's to find who suits you best. Meaning you typically know when you're starting to feel one person and this person may seem like the better person than everybody else you're talking to. So at that point, you can start to distance yourself from the others and pull away from the other options as you become more exclusive to the one who you're with. Now, because it is a dude that asked this question, I would say if you're really feeling a woman that you are dating and you, you feel like you're talking to other women, of course, there's a way to be respectful. You don't want to just be on a date with her and just because you're on a first date and y'all just talking and she can't check you, like I said, you like, mm, let me sit my phone up so she can see all of the women blowing me up. You don't want to do something like that because you plan yourself. And when people play games, everybody, it's just going to be a disaster. Nobody's going to win when everybody playing games because you're trying to show this and show that. And you don't know how she may respond or react. Maybe she's going to turn up her phone so you can see everybody texting her. Then it just becomes a toxic situation. Or maybe she'll say something and you're like, oh, I, I mean, we just talking. But you don't want to cause that confusion. That's childish. Don't play childish games even when you're just talking to someone. Be respectful about it. Respect the fact that, hey, I don't know if this person likes me for real, but let me just continue talking to them and going on dates with them to see if they are liking me and feel this person out as opposed to trying to make them jealous to see if I can bring a reaction or response to see, oh, okay, so she do like me. 
you don't want to do that because you may play yourself because then it's going to be in the back of her mind. Well, I know he probably talking to somebody else when he's not talking to me, when actuality, she's all you thinking about and you're not even talking to no other woman or you're not even responding to the other woman that's texting you. So be very careful that you're not being childish and you're not just playing games with someone that you may really like. To me, it's just like a friendship. You don't meet someone and just give them all of your loyalty immediately. You let them build up. You have to trust them. They show you the type of person they are. They reveal themselves. Y'all go out on a few places. Y'all talk about life, start to confide in one another. Then once you prove yourself to one another over time, you reward the mutual friendship filling with titles like best friend or sister or brother and those titles solidifies the friendship and fills those positions in your life so if somebody else you run across them you may run across other people that are just as important or special to you but it's like that role is already filled so you watch the limits you go with other people you don't give them the same benefits or opportunities as those people that have already proven that loyalty to you and you've already fulfilled that title or you've already placed someone in that title and you don't need someone for that particular role in your life anymore. A man and a woman almost always knows when you've met your husband, when you've met your wife. And at that point, you just got to know that it's time to retire the game. Like it's really important to give yourself a time frame. Like okay, this is how long I'm going to talk to this person or date this person before I decide whether I want to continue with them. Honestly, it doesn't take like months to do these type of things. When you're talking to somebody consistently on the phone, not texting, not sending voice memos, but actually on the phone or even FaceTime where you can see their reaction for a good amount of time in a day whatever time you all both may have for free time, but every single day you can weed out who's not for you in a good two weeks at most. And that's kind of stretching it because honestly, after talking to somebody for at least an hour, you'll know before the first week, like if you want to continue with this person, like I know sometimes I can have a conversation with another woman when I'm out at an event for a good hour, we just talking to each other heads off and I can think in my head like, oh, this is a pretty decent woman or oh, she's a bird brain or oh, this is type be because people, they put on a front when they're talking to you. But if you're anything like me and you have like a discerning spirit or you just pay attention to small things and small details and small things that people say and then you pay attention to their actions and see if it's matching up with what they told you, you can definitely tell oh, this, this type of person, or she faking this, or she pretend to be that, or, oh, this who she really is, and, oh, that's who he really is, but just pay attention to small details when you're talking to somebody, really focus and lock in on that person, and then you won't waste your time, and the answer to the question is, when you're talking, it is okay, it's completely okay to respectfully talk to other people, but the moment you feel like feelings are being involved and you all are liking each other, you just got to be straight up, straightforward, pop the question or tell the person like, hey, I think we're better off just being cool. It's all about keeping it real and communicating, honestly. Take your time, but also remember that you don't want to take too much time because then you're wasting your time and this other person's time. And it's important to remember you're single until you're not single. But that's all I have for y'all today. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And also remember to follow me on Instagram at Cherica underscore Brown. Feel free to DM me any questions that you all may have. I'm out. Peace.